You did it again. You saved them. I just wish I could have been more help. So, it looks like the Ananta did have a mountain of crystals after all. Every other tribe. Gods were all such slaves to our weaknesses. You! You slew our mistress! She was our hope! Our salvation! Is there no end to your cruelty? Listen to me, please. I know that you're only trying to protect yourselves because you feel frightened and alone. But that's how we all feel, don't you see? If we could just turn to each other for help instead of the gods, I'm sure we could find a way to live in peace. Your crystals are important to you, aren't they? Reflections of your souls, right? Well, you shouldn't have to sacrifice something so precious to a primal. Who are you to question our choice? You who fight without fear? We wish only to live in peace. And if this be the price we must pay, then so be it! I know there's nothing I can say to convince you. But I hope that one day you look back and see we only ever wanted the same thing. Be gone, damn you! Spare me your hollow words and leave me to mourn. I'll go. But it doesn't mean I'm giving up. Girabania is our home too. And one way or another, we're going to have to learn to live together. Come on, Alfano and Alize are waiting. Ah, the savage returns, and with her tail firmly between her legs, beaten by beastmen, I hear. It was a shameful display, by all accounts. She may have carried the Viceroy's favor with her bold promises, but in the end, she's just another plodding bungler like the rest of her kind. Strange. You would think him a better judge of character. Then again, I hear she's not averse to a more physical mode of persuasion. <laughs> I thought she rose through the ranks rather quickly, but no longer. If only she had been content with her lot, she might have lived to see the morrow. Fedola Rem Lupis. Commander of the Crania Lupi, reporting as ordered. Why do you tremble so? Could it be that the Empire's butcher is afraid? That she who walks with death is terrified of her own? I'm terrified of dying having achieved naught. Gladly would I give my life to win a great victory on the battlefield. Had I but the strength. Alas, you do not. Indeed, you are weak. And born of this weakness is a blind fervor, a raging inferno which threatens to consume not only you, but everyone around you. 
Yes, my lord. You were defeated by the Resistance on several occasions. You misjudged the Ananta and spurred them into summoning an Icon. Have you anything to say? I do not, my lord. My failures are my own. I am prepared to accept your judgment. And that is very admirable. However, I've had enough of this dumb show. Give voice to that hunger I see in your eyes, or I will pluck them from your head. I shall give you a chance. A chance to transcend your mortal limits. Assuming, that is, you are prepared to wager your life for such power. Transcend, my lord. I came here prepared to die. Tell me what I must do 